Jordan then explains the rules of disc golf. The object of the game is to get a flying disc into a target in as few throws as possible. Disc golf is a mixture of traditional golf and ultimate frisbee to create a new hybrid sport. Instead of a golf club and a ball, players throw plastic flying discs, sometimes referred to as frisbees, along a course split up into 9 or 18 holes. A typical hole looks like this. The terrain is more vast and varied than a regular golf course, and these obstacles make it challenging to play. The game starts at the first hole. A player will start by throwing the disc within the tee area. The aim of this first shot is to throw the disc as close to the target as possible. Once they have completed their shot, it's their opponent's turn to do the same. And they make the next throw from the spot where their previous disc has landed. The golden rule of disc golf is that you must throw the disc as it lies. You cannot move the disc or the environment around it to create a better throw for yourself. Players then alternate throws until all players have thrown their discs into the target. These targets are usually steel baskets with a chain net to catch the discs. For a hole to be complete, the disc must land in the chains or into the basket. If it hits the target and bounces back out onto the floor, this does not count. The amount of throws it took to hit the target is recorded, and then they move on to the next hole. A game is typically played over 9 or 18 holes. The player who completes the course in the fewest amount of throws wins. That's basically the gist of it, but there's a few other rules that you'll need to know before playing or watching disc golf. For example, terrain. The beauty about disc golf is that no two holes are exactly alike anywhere in the world. Every disc golf course is different and each one is designed to make it challenging to play. There are obstacles such as water hazards, trees and roofs that sometimes require players to curl the disc around these obstacles. This makes it an interesting challenge. Discs A disc golfer, like a regular golfer, has different discs that do different things. The most common three are a driver, with pointy edges and is used to gain the most amount of distance. A fairway or mid-range, a balance between accuracy and distance. And a putter, which is highly accurate but doesn't travel very far. Disc golfers use a mixture of different discs in order to complete the course in as few throws as possible. Throws Disc golfers have different throwing techniques depending on the type of shot required. Some are for distance, some are short range, and some curl the disc around obstacles. One thing's for certain, you cannot throw in front of where the previous disc has landed. Doing so results in a one throw penalty. Penalty A penalty is an extra throw that is added to your score. This is usually awarded if a disc lands out of bounds, lands in water, or anything else against the rules. Penalties can be awarded for all sorts of things, so make sure that you know the full penalty rules before you start playing. Par Each hole has an average number of throws that a typical disc golfer should complete it in, based on difficulty and length. This is known as the par of the hole. Depending on how you performed on the hole, depends on how your throw is designated. This table makes it easy for you to identify the relevant disc golfing terminology given your performance. For example, if you manage to hit the target in one throw fewer than par, this is known as a birdie. One throw more than par is known as a bogey, etc. Hole in one. If you manage to hit the target on the very first shot from the tee area, this is known as a hole in one and is a rare achievement. Match play. Contests between just two people can be sometimes played under match play rules. In short, the player who wins the hole gets one point. If scores are tied in a particular hole, neither player scores. The person who has the most points at the end of 9 or 18 holes wins. If you found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Follow me on Twitter also and share this video on Reddit, but in the meantime, enjoy disc golf.